If I tell you that there is an emulator in the market that consumes only 512 MB of RAM and has an Android version above 4, what would be your reaction? What? What the f I know some of you might feel like giving me a hard time for saying this, but trust me, there is indeed an emulator in the market that consumes less than 1 GB of RAM. Now, many people may find it hard to believe, so let me show them a small piece of evidence. That was a small piece of evidence. So, if you also want to install this emulator, watch the video till the end. And don't miss the part about the video settings because the emulator won't run without it. Let's start the video. First of all, let me show you the specifications of my PC so that all your doubts regarding the system requirements can be cleared. As you can see, my PC has only 2 GB of RAM and a 2.40 GHz processor. Now, let me show you the graphics card. Here, my PC has a 64 MB Intel HD graphics card, which isn't very capable. Now, let's move on to the installation process. First, you need to download this zip file, which is 331 MB in size. Simply right-click on it and extract it. After the extraction is complete, go into the folder and launch the setup. In the next step, click on Custom. Choose the directory for this emulator and then click on the Install button. As soon as you click on the Install button, the installation will start and it will take 5 to 10 minutes to complete. So, let's take a short break for some tea. 2,000 years later. After the installation is complete, a pop-up will appear that you need to close. Now, go into the Multi-Instance Manager. Inside the Multi-Instance Manager, you will see a Settings button that you need to click. Now, you must not miss this part of the video because I'm going to tell you about some important settings. First of all, you need to select one core inside the CPU core, and for RAM, choose just 512 MB. However, if you want to play high-end games, you can choose more RAM, it depends on how much RAM you have. The more RAM you select, the more high-end games you'll be able to run. Below, you will see an option that you need to enable. After that, you need to go to the Display tab, select the phone, leave the other options as they are, and after making these settings, launch the emulator. As soon as this emulator launches, it will provide some user guides at the start, which you need to close. So, here our emulator has successfully launched, and it's running very smoothly. Now, let's quickly install some games. Until the games are installing, please like the video and subscribe to the channel because I regularly upload tech and games related videos. Now, many people may have a question in their minds, can we play Free Fire on this emulator? To give you a straightforward answer, if your PC has 4 GB of RAM, then there is no issue, and you can play Free Fire smoothly. But if your PC has only 2 GB of RAM, you won't be able to play Free Fire. I'm not saying that Free Fire won't install. It will, but it will lag a lot. So, if you have 2 GB of RAM, you can only play low-end games on it. However, if you still want to play Free Fire, I recommend trying the modded version of Smart Gaga, where you not only get Android 5, but can also run high-end games smoothly. If you want to watch the tutorial, click on the video that will appear on the screen, and I will see you there. Bye.